Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the System32 folder keeps reappearing at startup. So you notice you turn on your computer and then File Explorer opens up and it gets you right to the System32 directory. This tutorial will show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I personally suggest is going to be very simple. And that would be to go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in System Restore. Best match to go back with Create a Restore Point. Go ahead and left click on that option. And then assuming that the available drives say that protection is on, that's a good sign. And you want to select the System Restore option. If you don't actually have any restore points on your computer, this method is not going to work for you, obviously. And you just want to follow along with the on-screen instructions. Select Next. Select the most recently created backup and then just keep selecting Next here and then finish to actually confirm the system restore. You'd have to close out of any open programs or applications at that time and hopefully I'd be able to resolve your problem once your computer restarts. If that was not able to fix the problem, another thing you could try would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now in this LVA command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash. Hit enter your keyboard to run that command. So it will take some time to run the scan. If you type it in more than once within one Windows operating session, it's going to tell you you're going to have to reboot in order for it to take effect. So if for some reason you get that, just restart your computer and run the command again. I've already run this command before restarting my computer and actually running the scan, so that's why we're coming across that. But it shouldn't be a problem in your case. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.